Hello, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'll show you how to download WordPress and use it on your computer. To get started, go to Safari or Chrome and type in mamp.info. It will take you to a page like this and then click on free download. They have a Mac and Windows version. I will download the Mac. And while you wait, go to another tab and type in wordpress.org, get WordPress, and then download WordPress. The first one we download is the server. We're going to use the self server, and then the second one is the WordPress um, file. I'm going to open the MAMP one first and set that up. Click on continue and then continue again. Continue one more time. And then agree. And then install. Type in your password. And install. If you guys want to see how to do it on a Windows, just let me know. I'll make another video for you. All right, once it's done, I'm just going to keep the setup for now. Um, I'll go to and search for the application I just downloaded and click on Start Servers. And it will take you to a new uh, page. Now, if you click on my website, there's really nothing there because we haven't set anything up yet. To set that up, so we're going to go ahead and open the WordPress download file. And we're going to go ahead and copy the whole folder, which have all those things in it. We're going to go ahead and copy and then paste it into MAMPS. So after you copy, go to applications and then go down to MAMPS. And go to where it says htdocs and you paste the file there. You paste the word doc, the WordPress file there. All right, once it's done, you can see it there and it has everything in it. Now you can go ahead and change the name where it says WordPress. You can change it to whatever name you want. I'm just going to change it to my first website. You can name it whatever you want. After you name the file, copy the name you gave it. Then we're going to go to the page that was opened. Here, go to Tools, PHP My Admin. And it's going to open another page. And then we're going to go to where it says database right on top there. And on the new line, uh, we're going to paste the name we gave it. Uh, I will leave that one the same. And then we're going to go ahead and create. Once the database is created, it will take you here. But just go back and exit out of that tab. Now we're going to go to my website and as you can see, there's my first website there. Click on it and choose the language you want to use. And then now we're going to start to configure the settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue. For the database name, we're just going to copy the name we gave it for username and password for in MAMPS, it's root, so we use root for both username and password. We're going to leave the rest the same and then click on Submit. Now we're going to run the install. The site title, you can name the site title whatever you want. And then just create a username and the password. So those username and passwords is what you're going to use to log into WordPress. Whenever you're going to work on your website and you want to log into WordPress, those are the username and password you'll be using. 
choose a strong password. And you can use a personal email, a business email, really any email you want for the email. Click on continue and as you can see, it's been su su successfully set up. So we're going to click on login and we'll log in using the username and password we just created. And as you can see, we have WordPress set up for us. If you click on the website, and you'll see the typical WordPress simple page. And yeah, everything looks good. This concludes the tutorial. As always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos on how to make websites and different plugins shortly. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.